Hello and welcome everybody, I am Adam the Silly Host and we are back at our weekly Minecraft update. As you can see I am on my friend's server and I would like to take a quick uh, look around with you guys to show you what I have achieved uh, during the past week. Not much, but uh, I hope it will be enough for the time being and uh, later on uh, I have many plans uh, that involve the surrounding area that uh, I would really like to develop the, to my liking. So, stay tuned. First of all, as you can see, I actually managed to make a little enchanting place where I actually managed to do some things so far. Uh, not bad, but uh, I really have to get uh, some mending stuff. Um, I made a rather large pool to uh, do some fishing. Uh, sadly, my fishing rod at the moment doesn't have a luck of the sea or lure, so it's rather slow and depressingly uh, one-sided. I, I, I mean, I mostly get uh, silly stuff, uh, only these two things that are kinda good, I guess. Uh, but uh, things shall look uh, a little better later on, I guess. It, it just takes time, so I do some... Uh, really mm, some long AFK hours just playing with the road while I watch something else on YouTube <laughs> oh dear but anyway as you can see I have some animals I am breeding them up uh, and doing some choppy chop of them to get some food um, what else is there pretty much the farm areas are the same uh, the difference is that I actually surrounded most of my base with berry bushes, so the mobs uh, don't get cramped that much. And uh, oh, Enderman! Uh, it, it annoys me so so much. So I think I will look for a way to turn off what the Enderman can do with these things without uh, deactivating other mob destruction things but anyway uh, as you can see at the moment i have chopped down uh, all the trees here because uh, i want to i want i wanted to clean up this area and i actually flattened uh, that area which took way too long with simple stone tools that's why i went down into the mine got some diamonds and uh, try to enchant them as best as i can because uh, uh, back in the day when I first played Minecraft and I used simple unenchanted stone tools to make huge flattening and, la and landscaping things, I was fine with that, but now it's just uh, not gonna cut it. I mean, I get bored so easily. I mean, that this area that you see here, that was like that tall at most, it took me like like three hours to clean and it's ridiculous. I mean, with the right tools, I could have done it in like half an hour uh, without a beacon. But anyway, what else can we do? Uh, I would actually like to show some plans that I have around the base. So, uh, as I'm getting more and more stuff, uh, I am getting less and less space. Uh, I mean, inside, most of these chests are getting really full. And I don't want to keep living in a small house like this. So the idea will be that I will actually, uh, maybe later today, uh, where I am, maybe later today, I will actually chop down the trees uh, on this hill here. And uh, I plan on uh, starting to make a house, a proper big size house. It will take some time because I still don't have the proper resources but I just really want to do it. I don't know if I will flatten this area or not, probably not much, because I want to build here a house that has different levels according to how this hillside plays out. Now, I don't know what would be the exact size of it, but I would guess most of this hill would be covered by it and its parts. I would also like to transport this enchanter thing to this little hill here uh, and I would like to build there a witch hut 
something like I did uh, on my friend's server uh, in the previous season. I mean, it wouldn't be big, but uh, it would really have to only accommodate the enchanting space. And uh, it might be somewhat inefficient to build it in uh, some sort of a distance from my base, uh, the main house that I have planned out, but uh, I also want to make this place to look good uh, at some point, because uh, at the moment this place looks like uh, rather ridiculous. I have also thought about uh, making an actually uh, big castle with walls, towers on that mountain. I mean, that mountain ha has a really nice uh, shape of it. I mean, as you can see, it has natural, uh, smaller, bigger parts. Uh, and I think it would look really, really nice if I could make uh, a big, huge castle. Probably for the long term. I mean, it would be pretty much... Uh, if I can come up here... Uh, let's, let's go here. So you can have a better look around. So that could be like a separate tower there with a small bridge connecting to the main castle. Uh, this hill could be like the main building with the living quarters and down there that could be a huge courtyard with uh, stables, blacksmiths and so on and so on that you can usually find in a castle. Huge kitchen, storage rooms and everything. And uh, I could pretty much expand it uh, as uh, time goes on and, and of course uh, as long as I can uh, manage to get some supplies because at the moment it's uh, still a struggle to get proper amount of supplies as I don't really have uh, properly enchanted tools. So probably b before this big project, uh, the first thing that I actually should do is actually to go to the nearby village because uh, there is a village uh, that way, like a couple of hundred blocks. And I should uh, bring here um, somewhere, some villagers that I could turn into librarians. As, uh, I actually made some travels and as you can see, I have already uh, nine lecterns. I have uh, books, I have some emeralds or already. And I have been trying to get some resources that I could trade with the hopefully the villagers. Um, but yeah, that's also a big task. And uh, for that, I would also have to build up uh, some storage room. Uh, I might do it somewhere here, although it would be probably better if I would do that uh, under my main base, so it would be really close to me. Because uh, on the LTT server, I still pretty much uh, spend some spend my time on the basement where all my stuff are which is kind of sad but uh, well <laughs> it is what it is right anyway about the LTT server I think uh, I will go there next so see you there and we are back on the LTT server where we are doing some really nice things come take a look although here in the city I haven't done much of a work uh, I started uh, put down the base uh, of a new building that I have thought about. Uh, this should be um, like a medieval grocery store, I guess. Or that would be the idea that uh, there would be uh, some sort of a hall down there with uh, stands uh, where stuff can be sold. Uh, which goes out here. This will be uh, like a marketplace. I really want to populate this area with all kinds of uh, smaller uh, shops and stands. And uh, at one point uh, I, would, I will definitely bring here villagers and every stand will have its own villager based uh, on the work they do. And uh, of course I will put down chests uh, where actual people on the server could buy things if they come here. I mean, they, uh, I don't think they buy too much. I have 18,000 on my balance at the moment, which is not really much, but that's because I have spent uh, another couple hundred thousand uh, 
own blocks to extend my claim until um, I don't know somewhere here. Mm. Ah, yeah, you can see it. So this is still not my claim, and I would really love to uh, extend it up until here, the middle line of the road. I think that would be the maximum because uh, that would give me so much space that uh, I don't think I could fill all this space with uh, different buildings. But uh, well, we shall see. We shall really see. After months and months of waiting and not doing much, I actually managed to finish the roof of the stables. I'll take a quick look around. Nice, yeah. I mean, this part is not really, but in general, as you can see, I managed to finish it and I kind of like it. Uh, the, the acacia looks really nice like that and I think I managed to make the roof uh, rather good looking. And not just that. As you could see, I made a small building here. I don't really know what the purpose will be, but uh, I just really wanted to fill this place a little more and I will have to figure out something here to replace the bamboo. I mean, whatever I will do here has to be small, so the trading hall would not be blocked from the view. I have also... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, can't fly made a gate <laughs> oh dear i had the idea to make here some sort of a castle gate kind of thing which is uh, funny because i don't have anything that would resemble a castle here but i just wanted to do it you know and uh, i just went for it now this is actually outside my claim so uh because the claim line ends like uh, along. Uh, seems I don't get a notification, but the point is that the claim line ends here. So anyone could come here and grief it. Uh, I hope they will not, because uh, I spent quite some time building this. Like It was like uh, a good two hours to make this. And uh, it's nothing special, but uh, I really like how it turned out. And uh, I guess the last thing that uh, I think I can show you is actually my main base. Yes, I finished the roof. And not just that, I added another level. A new level and the roof. And look at that. I try to do my best to texturize it. I have used oak, spruce, jungle uh, stairs. And what else? There was something else, wasn't there? Hmm. Oh no, just this free. But anyway, the sides are done with cobblestone and mossy cobblestone, which uh, I think gives a really nice look to it. Uh, as you can see, I made various decorations along the roof lines. The house pretty much follows what the lower floors looked like acacia and dark oak mainly with jungle uh, logs uh, one thing that uh, i am not 100 percent sure that is finished of course i fall down is the top of the tower because uh, i am still thinking about uh, how to decorate that properly I didn't have a nice idea back when I was doing the roof and that also took me quite some some time so I felt like uh, not forcing anything onto it for the moment but uh, maybe doing it later on and uh, the plans uh, here on my base uh, are still the same I really want to finish project that I have already started and uh, left it uh, just like that. So I have done uh, some things like uh, finishing up this building, which goes down to the underground farms, which did, which didn't have a roof and looked rather bad. Uh, and I would also like to finish my underground farm decoration. That will take 
quite some time and I am not sure when will I do that but uh, I will definitely have to do that at some point I guess because uh, I just really don't like the unfinished looks at this point. I also extended the road this way into well, pretty much nothingness at the moment and I have no idea uh, if I will do something with this or not. Part of me usually hopes that someone actually comes to this area and starts building something so our bases could be connected but uh, on the other hand uh, I could also just like build something here like the gates at the other end of my base I could make something that's uh, built with cheap materials hopefully looking nice enough but uh, not something like that somebody would grieve uh, I noticed actually a couple of weeks ago that somebody started to make a base here uh, it was somewhere here yeah you can see that but uh, it's pretty much uh, first day base nothing else just uh, that with the place rectangled I guess uh, but nothing happened here since then so I guess the person who started building it uh, I guess gave up on it uh, because really this is just uh, what it is burn chip 89 so uh, it would be re really nice if he would come back and actually continue the build, but I don't think so uh, that it will happen. Uh, but anyway, I think that uh, this should be all for today. I haven't showed uh, you guys uh, anything uh, about uh, Skyblock. And the reason for that is that I really got bored of that map because I couldn't really do much because I lacked the basic resources. I couldn't uh, make animals to spawn and I have no idea why. Uh, it's really annoying, like a lot. So for, for the time being, I gave up on Skyblock until I can find a better map that gives uh, a, a little bit more resources and uh, probably has a little bit more options to do. And um, part of me hopes that uh, I might be able to do Skyblock with someone else, because uh, I realized that uh, doing it alone takes a lot of time, a lot of grinding unnecessarily, and I just simply don't have the time to do that properly. But if I would have uh, somebody to actually play with me, uh, maybe just one more people but maybe a couple I don't know then it might be uh, more productive because we would work together I mean someone could work on uh, cutting down trees replanting them someone else could work on the uh, cobblestone uh, maker someone else could uh, do play uh, make a mob farm so everybody would do different things to gather basic resources so that after that uh, we could uh, progress much faster uh, but we shall see that anyway uh, yes that's really just it so uh, thank you for watching this video if you liked it please like share subscribe you know the drill uh, oh and don't forget please uh, follow me on twitch uh, I try to stream on twitch as much as I can uh, so those are live streams when you can actually look at while I build this roof, that roof or other things and what I generally do because uh, those are really uh, like hour or two hour long videos that I don't really want to edit sorry about that but that's just mm, I don't think it would be my thing because editing just takes so much time and I don't really see the point so it's just easier to stream long builds longer uh, live streams and just do a summary video every week for youtube anyway thank you again have a wonderful day everybody bye bye